Yo, uh, too much energy, too much energy. So, like let- I want to introduce myself. No, no, no. Long time man, I read, yo, louder. Now open up the mic. Okay, okay. Go, uh, go, go ahead, go ahead. Go. Long time man, I raga, raga, raga. When me name call 50,000 man gather. Coward come cutting with a sharp dagger from you. Is a man come face the real dan dada. Bully chop on no head away. I don't seek gangsta. Fade away. I'll do a we humble. Jade away. Violate and you're dead. Jade away. So let's talk about this song. Yes, sir. I have said on this platform that you got this song from the Ashaman to the World last year stage. Yes, sir. Is this true? Yeah, man. Right there and there now, when I performed it off top um, after the event, I try to get into it and request to release the song. I'm like, no, it was not even recorded. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought it wise to go into the studio and then because that's a moment where I got inspired mm-hmm. to create something off top mm-hmm. and then I had to now release it to the masses and it was a good move mm. and it's one of the biggest songs dance or songs that is running around today performed it in, mm-hmm. in Jamaica and everywhere else it's a real song as well like it deals with the I mean the 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 particular event mm-hmm. or the, mm-hmm. the, the or what happened the occasion minutes before stage you know, the incidents. I know, we'll be talking about that I, later. I, I still have to stick <laughs> to the thinker. You know, these things happen to great people, you feel me? Like Bob Marley was shot mm-hmm. before a performance and he still went on to perform. Mm-hmm. And I was going to get caught, but unfortunately, my wife did. I still went on there to perform. And but you were also hit by a stone, I, I, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I mean, I didn't even know, like, by the, you know, all these things. I mm. you know, say, when people gather like that in their thousands, they are loved ones and they are enemies. Exactly. So they say, baby, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. So it's the same flame, you know. You just have to be aware of what it is. And okay. so somebody like me that understands the the the, the, the pros and cons of, of what can happen within mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. such um, um, things, an ambience. You know, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, 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 I'm only ready and have to be on guard properly because. Mm-hmm. It, it can always get worse. But what, was was it the numbers? Uh, looking at you, as uh, smallish as you are, seeing about sixty thousand people on the Saka Saka Park, was it the numbers that inspired that heroism in you at that time? Um, you see, what we do is actually music is spiritual. No matter how physical you see it, it's spiritual. You know, I mean, you see the world sounds some power. You see the songs that they play, the wave they see, but you know, if you touch the wave, mm-hmm. so you know it's powerful more than we feel it is. So it run through. You know, seeing the people who came out to to see us I mean not just me literally mm-hmm. because they, they came out for the other people that they would love to see on stage mm-hmm. but definitely mm-hmm. it's our platform we put it up so you see at the point in time where they perform and that was I mean that third time performing to a huge crowd and it begins to rain mm-hmm. then if you say then the thing is no more then you, then you have to take it to the you know spiritual I mean metaphysical part of things mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. seeing and then flow through let the music take control and See. then that's how the song came through it, when you were also uh giving a stool name in tamale yeah uh you also came back and he gave us another song Sapa 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 Shini. Shini. yes um, I... <laughs> how uh spontaneous do you get such songs uh you know that the music has to do that t- 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 talking mm-hmm. and if i spoke about it you know, if I only spoke about it, it would be gone into thin air already. But if you place it on a, on a song, as a musician, I trust that that would live on, and that everybody can pick up that record and understand the narrative of what happened at the time. Because this was another memorable time. I remember flying to the north mm-hmm, mm-hmm, alongside mm-hmm. the then um, um, the then um, flag bearer for MPP, okay. our honourable our president you know who wasn't yet a president who flew to the north was in the same plane once we landed five thousand people bro ooze out at the place to come welcome me and the president was <laughs> was and then he was like <laughs> uh, you mean, mean the five thousand people came to Tamale to Airport, Airport to meet you. pictures to <laughs> disregarding think. the presence of the president. Not disregarding mm-hmm. because that is not too pleasant. <laughs> but then you see, you realize the power of 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 artists, of, of artists mm-hmm. and power of music, literally. You know, so. 
president was to this brother was on the side with six veeps mm -hmm. pull out and then he, uh, he he actually fell in traffic at the move so mm -hmm. these are memorable times and things and we drove straight to the um, um king's house may you so rest in peace mm -hmm. i heard he passed yeah yeah and they conferred on me the dancer warrior title so till date when i go to the north and i enter his place i have to sit on the right hand side and on the chair mm -hmm. You know mm, what I mean, mm, I, I mm. no more go on the floor. And then the title Dance Hall Warrior, has it had any impact on you? Um, well, 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 yes. I, I, I actually was amazed to have had that, you know, um, conveyed on me by another f spiritual leader. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he, mm -hmm. he is, still remains. Because, I mean, in the, you know, they see what we can't see standing, you feel me? And then that's what I believe I am and I've always been mm. warrior at heart, you feel me? So mm. to get that through, you know, in the music and, and getting honored as well by that, you know, brings me a lot of honor. Mm -hmm. It pleases my soul literally and urges me to keep warring on. I know some of the warring done, you know. Man crown king is a god crown king So when God crown king crown a next man king Original king and I know talking thing Then you know how real it is <laughs> Look on the street Wow, so no, many yes, styles So no. many Wicked styles style. and skills Style and pattern I know right I know. So let's talk 2018 um, <laughs> I think it was last Thursday When on this platform We talked about some of your works for 2018 yes, And uh, going through it We realized that you have been very very busy in 2018 True. and i want to believe that all these things have added art to your career as a dancehall artist True. let's go through them starting from your tours that is the eom album tour uh so far what would you say about the tour so far absolutely um um, um the tour has been amazing has been it's added up to my profile you know so right now the levels have gone way higher than it used to be last year or last two years because running on stages like the summer jam running on stages like the radio gill as the one as the as the african artist for the period you know meeting all these top top going to reggae some fest and all them 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 you realize that these things add up you know because even in ghana as an uprising when you start hitting stages like the ghana music awards miss malaika then them one day you feel like yes it's, it's getting somewhere mm -hmm. same way outside of the country if you start touching base on these events and stuff then you should realize that you're doing something right you're pushing your act in the right mm -hmm. direction mm -hmm. which is eventually going to throw light on where you come from as as mm -hmm. even if you're a Ghanaian or from wherever you come from because literally you move and you go there by on a Ghanaian P mm -hmm. except you're not a Ghanaian literally mm -hmm. yeah man so I only want to say that these things bring a lot of light to us as Ghanaians and on top of that to add to my profile and keep it getting taller like, I remember say these people out there deal with profile mm -hmm. don't deal with talk 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 and them thing there exactly so, yeah. so whilst you were there and you realized that this is Stone Boy alone maybe you look behind you and you only see Kelvin Boy were you expecting other top names from Ghana to have been part of this not not following your tour but maybe you go to say um, Reggae G you go Mm. to say reggae sound first and mm. there's a stone boy and there's mm. another Ghanaian artist mm. were you expecting that or you still was you were enjoying it alone not at the particular moment like this it is broader than me just expecting it or at the moment what i really wish for is when these jamaicans go on tour they're not one person mm -hmm. you see anthony b bone tequila exactly. which is spice mm. so it's up to the time and i feel like we are still working towards that time there mm -hmm. where once upon a time or one day it's my wish and i pray and we're still working towards that which is not my work to do okay it's not my work to do mm -hmm. to bring other artists with me mm saying mm -hmm. at all it is my work to make sure i bring myself and push myself to around them stages so do i wish others to be able to push to that level so that when we go out there assuming it will be so beautiful to find stone boy and all the other names there like mm -hmm. you went to the Ghana music awards uk yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah so yeah, yeah. these people like i mean i can use jamaicans as an example you realize that they're all over the place when it comes to these festivals these reggae festivals they're running the place they're not just one they're not two they're three so why would i not expect or want for us to also feel up and and, 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 and and be numerous as Ghanaian artists on stages like this. Mm. You feel me? So among the tours or among the jams, which one would you consider as the biggest? Um, most of them I did are the biggest from the Reggae Girls, Reggae Sumfest to they are still in existence. There are some of the 
biggest platforms and I mean Reggae Sumfest is the biggest and I still stand as the first Ghanaian artist to blaze that stage there and Summer Jam as well I mean one of the Ghanaian artists I know Fuse have been there on Summer Jam stage and I, and I mean this only opens doors for more of us you feel me so these are bigger platforms that have added to my profile now and shall ever be and I hope and pray and expect to push harder to do more of this over the time. Yeah. When you go for such uh, shows, uh, do the people know your songs already or they get moved by the performances you give them? Yes, it's a combination of both. You see, that is where you know that as an artist, you have to think from a broader perspective where it doesn't matter how popular or how not popular you are or whether they know your song or whether they don't know your song. So it comes as a package. You then have to be able to move a crowd once you're on that stage because to get on that stage, you must have done everything right to get there. Mm -hmm. So once you're on the stage, you don't expect that every single soul will know your song. Somebody will just see the name and be like, oh, let me go watch out who this guy is. Okay, mm -hmm. this, this, mm -hmm. this, this year's whatever festival, whatever show it is, I'm going to attend just because of the name. Okay, I see this guy on the bill. I see that guy on the bill. Let me go experience something new. Mm -hmm. So what do those people come for? They do not come only because they know your songs or maybe have heard about you or something. They come for a combination of everything. So to do you good as an artist, to be able to put up a great performance, to be able to to be able to teach them the song, if they know it already, it's a plus for you. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, I also observed something. I'm sure in one of the shows, not really uh, setting on which of the shows, you played with a band, not with your usual uh, Stone Boy team. That is a yes. Stone Boy band. And I realized that because the band was new and mm -hmm. you were also new to them, there were no connection between you and them. Are you always comfortable playing with such new bands? Um, I may not be always comfortable, but these are the headers of the game. Do you understand? There are mm -hmm. levels to the thing at every point in time. You know, you don't get it as smooth as because everybody keeps working on their craft by day. But therefore, you know, you have to also recognize that, uh, you know, you have to push to get to a point where one day you can travel with your whole house. Is it difficult to do that now? Looking at the level you are going, is it difficult for you to go to all these tours and say you're going with maybe your it's, seven man band? It, it still is because it depends on the kind of show. You will not necessarily, nobody would necess nobody would pay to fly your band to a club event. You feel mm -hmm. me? No, but the shows you played were not club events. No, I'm saying. Okay. So that means that it's, it can't be all of the shows. Do you feel what I'm saying? Like it depends on the show and what the logistics entail and what, I mean, so you, you, don't, you, you can't always run with your band. You cannot always. Sometimes you do like your DJ, you do one or two, two, three tracks. You know there are different types of mm -hmm, it. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, as much as as, as 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 far as we've come now, I trust that on the subsequent events for some of the shows that require a band, I'm going to fly with my band. I hear you now have a band. What is the name of the band? They're called the Bean Band. The they are actually um, they are actually um, um, people that have that have experience and I've played with all other artists and still continue to play with the artists but we managed to form a, a group out of them so that when I'm when I'm working then I can move with them in that name under that umbrella of the beam band okay so how many how many people do we have in the beam band um five okay five man band yeah okay nice one now let's move on to right. the album yeah, proper man. that is the eom album yeah, topping world charts and more uh, so far the level it has got into are you satisfied or you still even want more nobody can get satisfied or else we should all go home and sleep because we're finished you know you have to continue pushing you have to continue growing because after the album you surely drop singles you might also probably re-release some songs from the album a lot of things once you're an artist and you you trust to keep moving there ain't no stopping, you know. What is the biggest achievement of the EOM album for you so far? Absolutely all plans that, I mean, I've overachieved for my EOM album. Mm -hmm. You know, the plans that I had to release it, I've, I've, I've ticked it all out and I've added some more. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm grateful, you feel me? Like, for if for no reason at all, I know that that album is, has run nine times, nine weeks nonstop mm -hmm. on Ghanaian stables, mm -hmm. like Half Town, mm -hmm. Talk the Ghanaian, you know what I mean? The 13 weeks, you feel me? And Ghanaian iTunes are topped at a point from 1 to 24 among the top 200 songs, Ghana iTunes. And I mean, and it's obvious, Bawasaba is huge, Manime is huge, Most Original is huge. Mm -hmm. So these are, these are, I mean, the, the, the bigger songs, me and Obede, they, they, 
and I'm yet to release the day video, Tia Tia video, and videos from the reggae songs that features these top reggae artists as well. So mm-hmm. it's a plan. And I mean that we placed on the ground and we give thanks and we give glory to God that it germinated even out over our expectations as at as in running into one year as it was re- it, it, it was released. Okay. You know? mm. Now the business side of it too has it been profitable so far? Uh, is, yeah. the, is the account breathing? It, it, has, it has to breathe, bro. It has to breathe, bro. <laughs> if it don't breathe, <laughs> yes, it has to breathe. But guess what? Sincerely speaking, there are a lot of uh, accounts are not briefing enough because of the understanding of certain things. Because guess what? When you go, you see, you don't expect Storm Wars following. In, uh, in, 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 I mean, to be specific, in, so to say, in Nigeria, to be more than his following in Ghana. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. You, don't, you don't expect Whiskits, I mean, I just mentioned names, following to be too much more in, outside his country. So we have to now make sure that in our country, our stuff, our, stuff, our music, our sales, business wise, we're breathing. The breath that our things have, m- m- um, the majority of, of the air in there, of the oxygen we have breathing in our accounts, don't come from us. Okay. It doesn't come from the fans. It doesn't come from Ghana, which is not the, which is not supposed to be. So now we have to look at a way. We have to all be involved to find a way so that business side, we can breathe at home and breathe well. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. way you see mm-hmm. a lot of things to change because we are almost 30 million population. If a million population is, is conscientized well enough to know that, look, we are supposed to purchase or s- let's take away support from that part there because they support us a lot. Mm-hmm. But the understanding of having to know that these things are purchased, these things are bought, th- mm-hmm. th- that is what these guys do. Mm-hmm. That's their work. They're putting mm-hmm. a lot of amount of money mm-hmm. into that. Mm-hmm. It will help. It will breathe better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it will mm-hmm. breathe better and it will help us all. We all will be breathing well. Because if a million buys my thing for 50p, mm-hmm. I'll be running 500k every time when I drop top scan. I remember someone sang them drop a big hit song them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I get you, man. Now, so let's talk about uh, the Nigeria experience. When we went to Nigeria for the xylophone media mm-hmm. thing, um, though people expected that the people would know at least top guys like you, yourself, Shatawale, Becca, and Co. But it was obvious that the guys did not know your songs, and that when we came, it be, when we came back, it was the talk of town. Everybody, oh, xylophone media artists, they are not even known <laughs> in Nigeria. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know what you learned from it. How do you expect the news to go? The news for go like that. That's how Ghanaians go, you know what I mean? That's the best way they can see things like, yeah, you know, far, they, 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 back, 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 and I had there, and I had cut there, and cut. Now we're in here, now we're here, you see. But you see, when you sit back, you have to, as an artist, I can't fall for that news, you know. I sit back and I wish the news took a different turn to understand that these people play 2080, and Ghanaians fall between 3% of that because 20 for the world. I remember say, Ghana, majority of our songs are in three and them one day and the pigeon. Even our pigeon sounds different accent wise from mm-hmm, theirs. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it's one thing loving the music and moving to the melody, it's another thing understanding what the song is singing and singing along. It's another thing humming along the melodies. These these are different parts okay. and then it's another thing also when the systems are in place over there to promote their stuff well enough more than any other stuff as well mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. so i see it from all these angles and i realize that i mean this is what it is that's the expectation what else mm-hmm. do you expect mm-hmm. you know what i mean and on top but, of but that were you disappointed thing, in any way well and mm-hmm. one sorry one thing i wanted to say is that we all realized that obibini had a good day yeah why did obibini get a good day mm-hmm. Are you, do you want to tell me Obibini is well known in Nigeria than I am? No. So why did he get a good day? Maybe because of his choice of songs, the performances he put Do you up. know the songs too? No. So what happened to Obibini? His did performance. he do magic? <laughs> Maybe his exactly. performance. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. So member say some other factors also count. Mm. The timing he went on was fresh. The people had fresh energy. And Obibini is a great artist who combined performance with skills and rap and it went on well for him. So mm-hmm. we, we, we can consider these things from several other points to, to, to check it. I went on at 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. I was built to be the last part. And everybody in this room, the top artists, Paulina Ojo, they, they mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. that our, be our only top artist skills show, you know. Big artists close shows. I I've, I've witnessed Capitan perform to reggae songfest to a dead crowd. 
and Kippleton, the fireman, bonfire, bonfire, and gone. And nobody goes home to say, yo, Kippleton, weak. Kippleton, never weak, a big artist. So he comes to close the show, and it's understandable. You're close show, because you're a big artist. Mm. One thing that came up after that discussion was that um, <laughs> yeah, Ghanaians, we are not doing enough. We are not doing enough promotion uh, in Nigeria. <laughs> that, that is one point so, so many people raise, that we are not doing enough promotion in Nigeria. Uh, maybe brand Stone Boy, uh, do you really consciously go to say Nigeria in the name of promotion, South mm. Africa in the name of promotion? Do you, yeah, do you man, often do that? A, that's a good point as well. That all falls back to logistics. That all falls back to push power. You understand? An industry like Nigeria where the government deliberately takes upon itself to push power, they can able they can definitely be able to enter the whole uh, everywhere in Africa and conquer it mm -hmm. like they did to South Africa like they did to Ghana like they did to Kenya like they did to Zimbabwe so there's there's rather a different picture from the back scene where we have to look at also but streamlining it to an individual artist i believe that in Ghana undoubtedly the likes of Stone Boy are to be Sarkozy not to mention VIP who are legends mm -hmm. are the most known artists in Nigeria mm. 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 over the time i've mm. done collaborations with olamide done collaborations with um, um young six burner boy long time cynthia morgan um, um banky w and them on the and techno and the list keeps going on about to drop some things with fino and the rest of them still mm. Mm. so mm. you can realize that maybe the angle we're looking at the problem from enya or even if a ghanaian a ghanaian takes fans from ghana to go and build a radio station or a tv station in nigeria you're going to work under the rules which is 80 20. exactly exactly so you, you think that is the problem that's the genuine problem uh, that's not to me it's not a problem is our systems is set mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. seen it's set so if god being so good you fall through it and you get a big break like one corner one corner which <laughs> you didn't have to go through the radio system <laughs> and I never went through the radio system to Nigeria, but then it was. He never went there to do promotion. I know, right? We have songs like that as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, man. Everything, I everything, I anything, I anything. Okay, now your Universal Music distribution deal. Mm -hmm. Um, so far, how is it going? Are you enjoying it? So far, so good. The real, the reality be told, we're still going back and forth. We no start doing any project here on that. Mm -hmm. So everything you're seeing and hearing. Why? And going why? All about, why are we still going back and forth? You, you have what to get things for? right. You have to get things right because mm -hmm. you know the world is going at a very pa fast pace. Okay. You know what I mean, especially not at all at how it looks standing from Ghana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might have to go and stand somewhere else to look at it properly to see a good view. Okay. So God being so good, giving us the opportunity to travel around, we stand at a point where we live in Ghana, but where we stand to look at the industry, my brother, is from a different point of view. You know what I mean? So we have to take time to make sure we roll things out or else we, 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 it's better we stop the music. So no rush in anything. You all heard the news. I didn't break it. Universal broke it mm -hmm, mm -hmm, by mm -hmm. themselves. So we're going back and forth to kick things down. So I just have to let you know, nothing has even started on the Universal side. Mm. Not one thing has been released. Mm, mm. And all so, these so things are seeing... When it starts, what are the things we should expect for Brand Stone Boy when the Universal move starts moving? Yeah, man, the uh, same way, the, the push, the connect, you know what I mean? The growth. Uh -huh, the growth, the distribution, the, the pluggings, the slottings, and it takes a lot of work. It's not like on a silver platter. It's not, it's not bread and butter for nobody who works with all these these names. Mm -hmm. And this is one thing, like, I mean, they hardly talk about. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's, it's more difficult working with these names probably sometimes more than being independent because you have to be schooled. You have to get in your toes. Like, things have to work well so as to get you going and to get universal and the names of the the, the, the the names I mean whether Sony uni going as well so it takes too much more and it entails a lot more than we think mm -hmm, mm -hmm, from mm -hmm, here thinking mm -hmm. that once you boss a blank with them they are gone you're gone no man not going yet no I got no way man <laughs> and I reach yet <laughs> So, man, up a one, and we are going to get there very soon. Okay, so now let's talk about some collaborations uh, this year. Yeah, um, I think I can go through the file yes, and press Nita sent to me, where we talked about Casper Novest. Yeah. Uh, we talk about some great artists. How is it going so far? Are all giving you the necessary audience you wanted from them? Yeah, man, so far so good because it's better to take a step than none. And once you have a plan, 
and God blesses the planet to work. He saw us go to South Africa over there. I mean, two, three or a month ago to perform at the Homecoming Festival. Mm-hmm. Huge. It had people like Diplo, had people like Major Laser, them come through the place there. And you can understand that the, the, the areas that we're entering, I mean, these areas may be, maybe, I mean, maybe, maybe insignificant to the Ghanaian media, not to say the masses, because they don't know. Some, maybe majority knows, but it may be insignificant to the, the Ghana media. But these are the areas where you know that you keep, when you keep entering these areas, you know that, yes, you are standing on your feet as an artist properly. So we went to SA on the, on the, on the, on the account of these things that we did. Song with Casper, song with um, 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 AK, them time there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, being there, perform at the MTV, mamas and stuff. Then couple steppings over there. And mm. these things are opening doors. So the collaborations are working. The ones with the Jamaican artists are working. Logic in the corner sends me a message once a while and say, yo, some more are the bad man them in the yard at a or stone boy, you know. Enough man go down there and I say stone boy from Ghana, bust down the area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All these things are, you know. <laughs> 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 the amount, yes, your name is Maka. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, know the part one, I, I know, right? I know, right? Now, so there are some names in Ghana. When you mention them, people will say, oh, they are done with Ghana, and you are one of them. Would you today admit you are done with Ghana? I don't, I don't look at things from a Ghana point of view anymore. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's, that's, where I can, that's what I can comfortably say. Okay. I'm never done with Ghana because Ghana is my foundation. Ghana shall forever be the foundation. So no, I what, what I mean sure. is that when they mention such names, including Stone Boy, mm. people want to say, oh, they don't need to prove anything to Ghanaians again. What they need to do is to go to the globe. What they need to do is to show the world what they've got and not Ghana anymore. Uh, do you, as an artist, have the same mindset for brand Stone Boy? Yeah, I admit what they're saying, but that's what I'm trying to d- uh, define it a bit, a bit more, or else it will seem like I said we don't need Ghana, or we don't want Ghana, or we're not Ghanaians anymore. Mm-hmm. I understand what they mean. They mean they mean that we have nothing to prove, you know. But we still have to keep watching the thing there. We still have to keep the foundation strong so that we can build on top of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or else we can't move. So it's very important for us to. To, to be able to, I mean, stay here, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, stay here, but look at things from a different perspective, because that is where we've reached, you know what I mean? So I, if, if you want me, that, that's a detail I can give to that, I, but I'm not literally done with Ghana yet. If I was done with Ghana, I think I would, I would travel out and be like, I'm done. Travel out and come back in the next six months and see what happens. <laughs> Why you think when you travel out and you come back in the next six months you lose some fun? No, if you feel you are done, just maybe you can try, try it and let's see. Oh my god, Stone Boy and the Beam Nation president is right here. Now let's go straight to Ashama. Let's go straight to Ashama. Oh. In fact, earlier this year, I heard that there wasn't going to be Ashama to the world, it was just about the latter part of the year. <laughs> Then there was a date. Charlie, then there was a post that ah, what's happening? If you so, you know, say you know, be easy things. You know, it not be easy to pull these things up. And, and this only tells you how human we are. You know, apart from everything, how we also try, we think through. And I can ac- I admit to the fact that me and the manager sit down, we think, think, we say, yo, this year, this year, we could put the concentration on beam nation. Oh, we turn around, come, the manager say, be lie. <laughs> we go do am. I say, you sure say we go do am? Say. Charlie, because you know, say from the look of things behind the scenes where people don't see too so many things that go on, and we, we I, know, I right. love to do things well and proper. Mm-hmm. But look at how beautiful it's turning out to be. And this is one of the things where I, I, would, I, would, I would say and I'll acknowledge my manager for any day, any time. Mm, mm. The road god, you know. That. Yeah. And you see, once the thing's set, yo, you know what I mean? And I'm going say, what in done, you know? Go tell them, you know, we take over the whole of Clarin done, you know? Wow. Yeah. So, you see me? <laughs> so when the thing touch road like that, for step in and make sure say kick out. And right now, the thing gone a road. So what it means that you were slow at it? At the initial Charlie, stages? you see me, me at the feet think like from 70 angles <laughs> at, at once. We, they just going to watch me, they think they go. Uh-huh. By the time I think, they say, yo, give me that one. 
and okay. I will support it because I must have thought about that as well. Mm. Aha. Uh-huh. So that be how we all we did. We complement each other neatly and well. And when mm-hmm. it comes to everybody's role, mm-hmm. we they kick it. More of the thing I say, yo, Dan, love me, man. Me I deal with it. Okay. Enough of the thing you go say, yo, love me, man. Me I deal with it. So mm-hmm. that's it. Shout out to the fan base. I mean, the interim as well. Mm-hmm. The Beam Nation crew, proper, proper. You don't mm-hmm. know. It'll be easy for the down there, Charlie. I know, right? It's I know, but you guys are I'm still big up to Xylophone music, high. same way, yeah. Especially uh-huh. Nana Pia Mensa. Uh, nice the one. The boss, you know. But the Xylophone music, say, today, Judgment Day, we'll call everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Ah, Judgment Day. Ah, no, no, stop, stop. <laughs> Water, we bring the fire, you know. <laughs> ah, you, you mean you want to call out some names from Xylophone Music to do what? <laughs> no, I'm not finish the interview. If I give me, if I give me five minutes, I'm not do fire time. <laughs> Oh, so if I have some five minutes for fire time, don't, don't finish me on the time. I need fire time. You didn't need one. Okay, good. We'll come back there. Let's go back to Ashaman once again. Um, last year, the records, according to est- estimates, were around like 60,000 or yeah, maybe man, more. Yeah, man, even myself, I say 40 because you did it. You said, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I was there. Yo, I, I never saw there. something like that before. I was there. Especially even in the rain, people were still there. Shano Rasta. Do you hope to break that record this year? Father, even if I don't break it, I set it, Rasta. <laughs> 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 no, that, 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 was a, that was a punch there. It is still your own record. Even, even if, if don't I break don't break it, I set it. Yeah. But I'm not sure you would also want it to come down. Boy, even if it come down to 15,000. 15,000 small people. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Boy, the reality me I deal with, you know. Okay. Straight. Mm, mm, you know mm. what I mean? It's true, it's true. Come on, man. 60K in the rain and thing and thing. And you want to rush and break in it? Oh, going, oh, 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 going. Who break it? Who break it? When break it, so I cost so I set it up. So we keep running. You feel me? We keep running. This is how real I can be. We keep mm. running. Mm. Skanking. What, 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 you know? <laughs> what, what makes the magic? Um, what makes the magic? What 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 pulls the crowd? <laughs> I trust that the love they have for the art, you know what I mean? The love they have for the art and the love they have for music because music is bigger than all of us. Music has been, shall forever be and will always be, even after we're dead and gone, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Maybe in these times, just like from the days of no social net media, red right to the days of social media, it's just improving via technology and all these developments that are coming up. I believe that once upon a time, people did what we're doing but on that level and we're just continuing it as far as music is concerned it's not because she's here but there are so many names in ghana that you feel me we don't even know about and haven't heard about it's not that doesn't mean that they don't mash up the place before gone them time there you know i know about a reggae band called ruta nabo who has toured the whole mm-hmm. of Europe as a Ghanaian band reggae, been on all the topmost festivals, but nobody, no. nobody knows today. Mm. Because it'd be like the country, we for learn how to conserve mm-hmm. our artists, our artistry, our industry as well. And all these be part of the bigger problem, you feel me? I, the other day, the Prince would have a hall of fame in Ghana. Properly proper. So say when you say you be famous or you be proper star, it be thing will be from national level. Mm-hmm. Scrutinized mm-hmm. by all the arms and all the bodies that there be. So say one day when your children, your great 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 generation go to talk, say, My father, my mother, my sister was a star. Yeah. You walk into that museum, you see the name over there, Miss Paulina Odro, da 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 or see See you there. Mm, 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 mm. Now l- l- let's get detailed. I'm still on a shaman to the world. Oh, man. Um, is Louisa coming this year too? The whole family, more and more. Be not scared. Looking at what happened last year. Oh, no, we give thanks for life. You know, it could mm. have gotten worse, but it didn't get worse. So we hope for the best. Mm-hmm. We go pass through again. Okay. Maybe and myself, uh, I go bring my baby on stage. Who knows? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? What is she coming to do? Ah. You don't know how talented that small girl is. <laughs> <laughs> Why, well, she started singing already? She did harm rough with one teeth. <laughs> <laughs>